everybody, welcome back. Stonebroke Adventure, new product we're checking out today. Yes, Welder sent us this MIG 205 DS Pro uh, welder. It's not just a flux core welder, it's flux core, gas shield, lift TIG, and a stick welder all in one. So today we're gonna try this thing out with some flux core, just real basic, simple uh, welding for beginners. But this isn't just a beginner welding machine. Just really easy to set up. We'll go through all that. So let's look at what this machine comes with in the box when you order it. Of course, it's gonna have your user manual. It's gonna have this really nice cheat sheet, right? Real simple welder setting chart. Uh, figure out your thickness in your metal, what size wire you have. It'll tell you what settings you need to set this machine up. Uh, great for beginners. It's also gonna come with four different wire rollers. Each roller is gonna have two grooves for two different size wires. So every size wire that you can put in this machine, you have the actual roller for that. Gonna come with extra tips for your MIG gun. The MIG gun is come, gonna come with an extra graphene insert, that graphene insert. In case you're gonna be welding with aluminum on this, you can put this graphene insert in, pull the old insert out, put this one in. That graphene helps that aluminum to slide through uh, the MIG gun a lot easier. This is spool gun capable, so you can actually get a spool gun for this machine. If you're doing a lot of aluminum welding, you have the spool gun here, and that just limits the distance that that wire has to travel through. Allows you a nice smooth speed on aluminum wire, so that accessory is available. Of course, you're gonna have your ground clamp, right? You're gonna have your adapter. This is your 110 to 220 adapter. This is a 220 machine, but 110 capable with the adapter. Um, it will auto read what voltage is going in. You don't have to worry about adjusting anything. We're also gonna have the stick welder stinger on this. In case you just wanna do some basic traditional stick welding, Machine's capable. When you start getting a little bit more advanced and you want to do some gas shield welding, it does come with the gas hose. We look inside here. We already have it set up with our spool of flux core. It is capable of holding a four inch a spool. This is what we have here. And an eight inch spool with this spool adapter. So let's go ahead, <clears throat> get this thing set up. Uh, I'm going to try it out, get used to working with it, and we'll be back and show you some of the features on it. So we have our spool installed. We have the correct size roller, the correct tension set on that. Turn the machine on in the back. All right now we need to feed that wire into the gun right, and we're gonna inch. All right, we're feeding that wire through. We don't have to pull the trigger. There it is. Go ahead and nip that off. We're gonna set this up for eighth inch steel plate uh, MIG welding with flux core. This button right here is what we're gonna press to set our shield gas and we are using flux core wire so we're gonna set it to the flux setting. So we're gonna look on our little cheat sheet here. Carbon steel, flux core wire, right? We're gonna follow that all the way down to eighth inch. Underneath eight inch, follow that down. There's our set wire speed, 393. The voltage will, will automatically adjust because we are in the synergic mode. So let's go ahead and check this out, right? So let's just say our settings are off. We're gonna go into weld mode, right? There's lift TIG, we have stick, uh, we have manual mode, and then we're gonna go to synergic mode. Great for beginners, everything kind of sets up automatically. We need to set our wire speed. That's this little parameter right here, 393, right? We're gonna set that up to 393. Four, oh. 393 automatically sets the voltage, right? And here's our wire diameter, of course, is 0 0.030. You can change that wire diameter by pressing this button. So everything should be set up now uh, to automatically uh, run a nice speed. So let's try it out. 
So we have a flat plate, just a simple well, flat plate to another flat plate. We're just gonna run a bead down there. We'll show you what it looks like. Nice weld for an amateur, All right? Any of the flaws in there is my fault. Definitely not the welder's fault. You can see I started off real good. And then here I changed the speed a little bit, my forward movement. So the Yes Welder 205DS, right? Lift TIG, MIG, stick, um, shield gas capable. Just a really nice kind of all around uh, welder. We're happy with it. Uh, we're going to be getting some more attachments for this, and we'll do a couple more videos. I'm not a professional welder, but I think when I get done you know, working with this, I'm going to be. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.